Hello there and assalamu alaikum. Today we'll be talking about creating a multi-state object in Adobe InDesign. So let's get started. Let's quickly create a new document with just one page and I'll pick landscape as the orientation. Now let's quickly grab the text tool and make a text box to one side of the page leaving the other side for a multi-state object. Let's also right click on the text box and fill it with some placeholder text. Perfect. So just consider this is an e-brochure of one of the resorts that deals in water sports and this is what potential customers will be sent electronically as a part of the marketing campaign. On the right the company would want to add some images of the different water sports they offer. So let's place a few images. In fact, before placing images, just give it a heading. Perhaps water sports would be a suitable heading for this one. I'm going to change the font to Poppins Extra Bold. That's one of my favorites anyway. And uh, let's also change the font size to 24 as this is a heading. And then I'm going to center align it. And now I'm going to go to File, Place and locate the images from my computer. I'm going to click and drag to cover the right side of the page for all the images as they are large images and until I restrict them to the size I want they would cover a massive area and it would be really difficult to manage them then. As you can see all the images are portrait images however different in size so I'll have to take them apart and individually right click on them go to fitting and select the option fit content to frame and then I can make further changes to tuck them into the page using the square point so that all of them are of same size. This looks perfect now. So it's time to create the multi-state object so have the images selected and go to window and then interactive and select object state. Now let's move the panel to the right and click on the small button that says convert selections to multi-state object and you should be able to see all your images here. Rename the object to anything of your choice. I'm going to rename it to activities. Great. Now it's time to create a button for our images to cycle. So I'm going to grab the rectangle tool and make a rectangle and uh, let's fill it with some color and uh, now I'm going to grab the text tool and type in what should I type in let's type uh, click for next I'm going to change the font to avant-garde and uh, size to 18 points and I will also change the font color to white as white would look perfect on a blue button Let's place the text on top of the button and uh, let's also center align it using the align option on top right. Okay, when my potential customers will receive this brochure, they don't just get to see this one image, they can click for more images. Select the button, go to window and then interactive and select buttons and forms from there. Now on the buttons panel click on type drop down menu and select button as your choice and in the name option I'm going to rename it to click for next and the event should be on click which means whenever anyone clicks on the button it takes them to the next image. For actions click on the plus sign to add an action it's to tell in design what to do when the button is clicked so select go to next state from here. Now go to Window, Interactive and select EPUB Interactive Preview. Now once the preview screen is on, click on the play button on the left and now click on the button you created and with every click you'll find it cycling through the images. Since there are four images, if you want the action to stop at the fourth image, you can do that as well. Just go to Buttons and Forms panel and check the stop at last state option and then when you go back to EPUB interactivity you will find that uh, it cycles through till the last image and it stops there. 
So fellas, that's all about multi-state objects in Adobe InDesign. I hope you've enjoyed the video, so please like, share and subscribe to my channel. And until we meet again, goodbye and thanks for watching.